Let's gain a basic understanding of what I2C is. I2C, or Inter-Integrated Circuits, is a versatile and widespread means of communication between multiple sensors and microcontrollers. This protocol greatly reduces the need for having multiple ports and wires and simplifies circuits and communications between devices. I2C follows a master-slave format where a device, usually a microcontroller, which is the Arduino here, is the master, and the two sensors, the BMP180 and MPU9250, are the slaves. The beauty of I2C is that due to the large amount of addresses, we can have over 100 sensors on this circuit alone, and these would only be need to connect to the two wires from the Arduino. These two wires are the SDA, which is a serial data line, and the SCL, which is a serial clock line. The serial clock rate is set by the master, and this determines the frequency of data transfer between the microcontroller and slaves. The SDA line allows for data transfer. It is important to note both of these lines are bidirectional, meaning the slaves and master can both send and receive data. We need pull-up resistors on both the SEL and SDA lines. This is because these lines can pull their signals down to 0 volts, but not up to 3.3 volts directly. Take a look at the sample schematic on screen. The microcontrollers can control the switch in this circuit. When the switch is closed, the SDA pin is pulled down to 0 volts. When open, the pull-up resistor can draw it up to 3.3 volts. A digital 0 is sent by closing the switch, and a digital 1 by opening it. These pull-up resistors make sure digital 1s are sent correctly on the SDA and SCL lines. Now on screen we've only shown you the diagram for SDA, but the same applies for SCL. Let's move on to building our circuit. In this section, we will complete building the entire circuit so both the sensors, the BMP180 and MPU9250, will be set up. Now you may choose to put in only one sensor at a time, and this is also very easy to do. You can refer to the PDF guide for more wiring instructions. It's been split up individually for the BMP180 and the MPU9250, and both of these wire together. Now we will need six major components to complete this circuit. Obviously our Arduino Nano, the MPU9250, the BMP180, a level shifter, and two pull-up resistors. Also, if you would like to know more about what level shifters do and their applications, please refer to Lab 4 in this series. Now it is important to note that the MPU9250 and BMP180 are both running on 3.3 volts, and our analog pins, pins A4 and A5 which we'll be using here, are actually based upon 5 volt logic, therefore we must set these lines to 3.3 volts instead. This is where our level shifter will come in. With that, let's begin to build. Now the very first step is to ground the two halves of the level shifter together. So we will connect them like so. And we will drag this ground, we will connect this into the Arduino Nanos ground pin right here. Now it's uh, important to remember that the left hand side of the level shifter is actually high voltage and the right hand side is our low voltage. We will connect the 5 volt line on the Arduino into the HV pin on the level shifter like so. And on the right hand side, the LV, we will be connecting this to our 3.3 volts line from the Arduino. Okay, so now we've finished connecting our power sources and we've grounded the level shifter. Now we can connect our HV1 reference to the A4, which is the SDA pin. We will be using a white wire for this. So we'll connect this to the A4 in the Arduino. And our HV2 will be connected to the A5 pin, which is the SCL line or serial clock. We'll connect this. So here we have our SCL and SDA lines into the high voltage portion of our level shifter. 
and we want to set these two lines down to 3.3 volts so we can safely use them with our devices. So now we will connect our LV1, our low voltage 1 and low voltage 2 reference lines. So again we use white for our SDA, our A4 pin. So we will connect LV1 into this rail here. And our green is our SCL. We will connect this into this rail here. So what we've done is made this whole rail safe to use for our two sensors for the SDA and SCL lines. Now we can connect both of these sensors directly into these, this rail here. Now let's begin to wire up the power for our sensors. So we will be connecting our 3V3 line to this rail. And we will also be needing to ground this. So we can just draw a ground from from the nano right into this rail. So our two rails, this is our power supply and this is our signal lines, our serial data and our serial clock lines. Now let's begin to connect the MPU9250. So we will connect our ground to ground, VCC to 3.3 volts. and we can connect our A5. So we've already made this green wire set to A5, which is our SCL line. So we will connect SCL into this port here. And our SDA from the MPU 9250 can be drawn right into this white rail. So the circuit for the MPU 9250 has been completed. Let's wire up the BMP180. Let's just take a look here at the ports. So we have our VN, our ground, SCL, and SDA. So our SDA line is white, and that's the very first port here. We will connect this like so. And our SCL lines, we'll connect it right into this. Okay, we can connect our power into the 3v3 line here. And we can also ground this. Okay. So our basic circuit has been completed, now we have to put in our pull-up resistors. So we will draw a pull-up resistor, one from the SDA and one from the SCL line. And we will connect these directly into the 3.3 volts. And that's it. There's our completed circuit.